So this question starts off by providing us with two equations. So basically we have a system of equations. It goes on to say in the given system of equations, P is a constant. If the system has no solution, what is the value of P? So I have another video on the channel here in this playlist where I kind of go through this mathematically. But instead for this video, taking the same exact question, I like to go through this visually. So what's important to know is that we have access to Desmos calculator integrated into the DSAT and we can use it, right? So we know that we have a graph, we know we have a system of equations, we know that this system has no solution, but what does this mean to have no solution if we're thinking about a visual, from an, observ like from an observation standpoint? So when two equations have no solution, it means that they are parallel. So parallel, very important. So when I graph the first equation, let's call this number one, and I graph the second equation, let's call this number two, I want the P value that makes line two parallel to line one. That's basically what I wanna do. So let's show what I've done here in Desmos. So we can see that we re-entered equation one in line one here, and that's our black line that we have. And then we've also entered line two, the second equation that I have, that has that PY. As soon as you enter any letter outside of X or Y, the system, so Desmos, will prompt you to select a slider for that letter, for that letter, for that constant, basically, which is what we had here. That slider um, traditionally is between negative 10 and positive 10 and starts off at zero. And then you can slide either left or right to ascertain what value you want P to equal, given the parameters of the question itself. So again, we know we want P to enter a value that makes basically these two lines parallel. So while this is a static uh, picture and you're not seeing me actually slide this blue dot from left to right, um, what I'm telling you is that it started at zero. I started to slide it to the left and notice what happened. I began to slide it to the right and notice that as I slid it to the right, these two lines, the black and red line, were getting closer to being parallel. And then once I hit P equals six is where I saw that they were exactly parallel. Now for me, I did, I did zoom in to be able to notice that. So you may need to use that as well. But when you zoom in and kind of track either to the left here and to the right here, just to make sure that it's not just close to being parallel only in your window, you can see that it is in fact parallel throughout. So that's how I got the answer here, that P must equal six. And that is our answer. The constant P equals six is the value of P that leads the system to having no solution, which again means that the equations graphed from those, or the, yeah, so the graphs from those equations are parallel, right? So no solution means parallel.